Hello there, YouTube. This is Ghost Trick. This is also the first time I'm streaming DS, like, I think ever. Um, using Des Mumi. This, this game is like all lower screen. I think 100%, in fact. So I'm just gonna reset here. If you haven't played Ghost Trick, oh, it's so good. I kind of hope you haven't played Ghost Trick because this will be, you know, then we get to experience it for the first time. I have played it. Uh, it's I'm in that this it's weird to describe, but I kind of like this mindset where I'm at where like I forget most of the game, but I remember that it was a really good game. I remember there's specific moments that I really want to see, um, certain characters that I want to see, such as a certain <laughs> stare dancing detective. But uh, it's been a few years since I played this. I first played this on iOS. If you haven't played, seen this, heard of this at all, this is a kind of mystery puzzle game. Very, well, sort of similar to the Ace Attorney series, also made by Capcom as well. Also very stylish. Um, I think I think you'll like it a lot. Must have been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy, kind of like I'm swimming through darkness. When I came to, there was a woman standing there. A woman I don't know. At least, I don't think I know her. If you like an Ace Attorney, I think you'll like this game a lot. Then there was a man with a gun. I don't know him either. Well, probably not anyway. Now, I'm not the kind of guy who can just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot, but I have just one little problem. I'm already dead myself. Rip. F in the chat. This has got to be me. No question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies lying around here? Well, no. Well, we lost already. Damn. Hard game. Hard game. If not input a single input. I feel bad for sure, but what can I do? I'm dead. Just as I was thinking this. This is no time to be lolling around dead. You're the only one who can save her. Okay, so voice in in brain. Well, not even in brain. What the? The whole world just changed on me. So this is our introduction to the main game mechanic. It's a puzzle game. And you get to move around in this ghost space and perform ghost tricks. Wasn't it called something different in Japanese? Um, yeah, uh, also uh, please avoid spoilers in the chat and everything. We're just gonna be playing this as if we, if this was our first time. Heck, I, I don't remember a lot of specifics anymore. Um, I do re remember there's a lot of characters that are <laughs> really good, but um, it's a really great mystery and there is a pretty notable, th there's, there's twists in the game. But we're just gonna play it straight. The game, this, this will be a sort of long stream series. Well, not crazy long, but the game's about 10 to 12 hours. So probably, I'm thinking three streams of 10 hours is what I'm going to try to do. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. A voice in my head? Who are you? No time for introductions now. You have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. Your ghost powers. Huh? Me? Save her. Uh, how? Take a look at your corpse. That's a hell of a sentence. What a, what a good game with what a good sentence. You see that blue flame? That's your soul? You see that bright white spot? That's a core. A core? Just looks like a railway crossing gate to me. Look, the best way to understand is just to try it. First try touching your soul. I actually played this first on iOS, by the way. Um, it was a good version, but... Um, <laughs> let's see how you get to wobble your soul juice out here. Bloop. There we go. I don't know if this is still on iOS or not. I don't think it ever came to Android, which is a shame because on iOS it kept getting removed because like things would change in iOS and they Capcom didn't keep updating it so that you can't play it anymore. At least it got removed twice, I think. I don't know if it's still on. I would assume not. But yeah, you know what? Let's let's find out. Um, iOS ghost trick. I don't want to tell lies to you. Oh, I think it is still up. Eh. Oh, oh. But, uh, oh, no it is. Oh, there was a spooky warning. But yeah, it looks like it is still up. So that's good to know. I think it was offered like free free for the first chapter or something, and then you can buy the rest. Uh, highly recommend it. It's also on um, Nintendo DS, which is the version we're playing. There's no real difference except there's higher quality uh, portraits here. 
So what, now I'm a crossing gate? Ahem, now then, use the crossing gate to save the woman. What? B but how? In a moment, time will start flowing normally again. This will be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. When me president, they see. They see. Now's your chance. Use the trick button. Yeah, get his ass. Unfortunately, the iOS version, um, these animations and stuff are actually pre-rendered, so I could like use a higher resolution um, version of Desmumi to emulate this, and it it would not matter in the slightest, unfortunately. So we're just gonna play it at native resolution. Uh, what just happened? That was your ghost trick. All right, this is just this is just tutorial. I'm not gonna read all of the tutorial. Still has a gun pointed at her. That's problematic. So, the way this works, you find different cores to try to attack, well, to try to do things. And uh, you only get like a, th I think it's like three minutes of uh, time to do things. And you get a loop through it. So, if you screw up and don't do the right thing, which you, you probably will. Ow. <laughs> He's a good shot though. Which is a problem, honestly, but... <laughs> it's gonna be the slowest running away I've ever seen. That's me. Well, yeah, we can't do that, unfortunately. Yep, we suck. We can't go and be a spooky ghost. That's why poltergeists are a thing. Why isn't that? Why isn't that Pokemon called like Pulte? What's it? What's its name? It's like Sinistee. I don't know. It's like one of the three Galarian Pokemon I actually like. I gotta say, I was looking at freaking what was it called? Sandaconda. I hate it. Um, unrelated aside, but like. I just did Mewbot in my Discord server, it has this Pokemon minigame and I keep being exposed to Galarian Pokemon for the first time. And look at this thing! I hate it. I, I hate it. I just, uh, it's so dumb. It's like one of those children's toys that like, where you, you like try to have a puzzle and like, you prove if your bra baby has two functioning brain cells with a little, fuck, what are those things called? Child toy rings. You, you know the things, these things. It looks like one of these, but worse. I, I hate it. <laughs> There's so many glaring Pokemon, they're so ugly. And not even like cool ugly, just, just regular ugly. Just, ugh, can't stand it. Whatever, not relevant. You've gotta be, <laughs> I like that little hang, the little mouth overhang. Lots of really good sprites in this game, by the way. Okay, again, this is this is mostly just tutorial. I'm not gonna read the whole tutorial for you. It's <laughs> the bad guys are blue, so you know they're bad. You might have you might have been confused as to who was the bad guy in this situation had he not been blue. Two things are looking pretty dim right now: my eyesight and your future. <laughs> That's harsh. Oh, dead. Well. Turns out we suck as a hero. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Oh, there's a phone call, though. <laughs> there's a phone call in the, in the subterranean trash ditch. Ow. This never meant... The, the, the situation never made much sense to me. There's, there's a subterranean, like, garbage facility. And there's a phone in it, I guess. Or maybe it's like a, just a really tall garbage dump. But still, I, I don't know if garbage dumps have like phones in the middle of- <laughs> Look at my ass! I'm just sitting over here like, yeah. Any 
end, it looks like your fate remains unchanged. So what good are these ghost tricks of mine? But just as I was thinking this... Oh shit, it's the Pixar logo! Hello there, how are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy what happened tonight. Ah, ignoring me, are you? It's a little early for you to be so stiff and cold, I'd say. So it's you. You're the voice in my head, right? I wouldn't say voice exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts are being beamed directly into your mind. Woo! That's another little trick ghosts can do. Oh, speaking of Ace Attorney and stuff, there's a Harvey Birdman game, and it's apparently not that bad. It's kind of constructed like a kind of B-tier quality version of just the actual show. It's, um... I might check it out sometime. It was on... I think it was on the Wii and the uh, PSP. There's another little trick ghosts can do. Unless my ghost tricks didn't do any good. Stop with the name callouts, you two. Hi there. Sorry. This is Chicken Head Man. He still ended up just as dead as before. That's true. For now. For now? I still have more to teach you about the powers of the dead. Your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you anyway? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. Eh, yeah. I guess that's relevant. Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying dis bleh, lying there like a discarded piece of trash? Well, we are in a trash dump. What can I do? She's already dead. Yeah, that's a problem. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, huh? Once you've done that, I'll tell you all about one of your powers. Okay, this is, again, more tutorial. I'm so determined to save this woman. After all, it's not like I know her. Guess I'll take the desk lamp up on his invitation anyway. My reaction is twofold. Number one, I'm the type to leave women lying around discarded like trash. Number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. I mean, you're dead. What else? What, what would you do if you were dead? And it's like, you know what? What's that? That thought bubble you just touched. Those are your thoughts. What you're saying to yourself in your head. Okay. We can just kind of think directly at each other. Thanks, Bubby. Okay, yeah. I, I know how this works. There's unfortunately no skipping or anything. And I don't remember if there's like chapters exactly in this game. Or how that works. I don't know exactly how we will decide when to call... Eh? Oh. I guess there is some information on the top screen. Um, I don't even have the top screen displayed. I don't believe it matters if anyone remembers specifically. Like, I mean, it plays on one screen on the iOS version. I vaguely remember how all this stuff goes, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Oh, that's funny. What is? She doesn't have a spooky aura. My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. That's because you're special. I'm special, guys! Oh my gosh, yes. And Settling Creatures and Caitlyn, by the way. Does anybody... I haven't played Ace Attorney yet. I played the demo. What is the best version of Ace Attorney for me to play? Um... I think there's like a trilogy on 3DS, but I hate <laughs> I hate my 3DS. The battery is dying and it's so small. And I <sighs> I actually busted out. I was playing Sonic Adventure Rush. The battery died um, from full battery to nothing overnight. I hate <laughs> I hate the 3DS. Something's wrong with the battery on mine in general, but it, it's always been a mess. Um, I'm so glad <laughs> that the Switch is not like the 3DS. But is there like is it on Steam or Switch or anything like that? Because that would that would help a lot, actually. Anyway. Congratulations, you passed. What well, do you know? What prize do I get? A new power! Oh hell yeah. Another one? No, let's review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go possess this corpse. You don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. However, something else you can do. Why don't you try it and see? Because he gets to manipulate the thinger, and I don't. Whatever. Zoop! Hello! Oh, this spooky 
red death vortex we're in. What's this? Can you hear me? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Hmm, looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious, but she's dead. Yeah, but thanks back. Remember when you died? You came to your senses, you'd be unconscious too. <laughs> dead and unconscious. What a state to be in. That's like me at all times, but I'm alive. When I came to, I was already dead. <laughs> what does that mean though? Let's leave her like this for now, rude. She's resting, we can save her life. Sure, you make it sound so easy. And it is easy. We go back to the past to four minutes before the person's death. Are you serious? Back through time? Yeah, so that's that's the main thing of puzzles in this game. You have four minutes, and along through the, um, the only works on new corpses. Corpses have been dead for less than one day. So we only have one day to save people. Might want to give it a try before it's too late. This is crazy. None of it makes any sense. I'm talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make sense. Let's go, shall we? It's a time four minutes before this woman was murdered. Hey, wait a second. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You'll see. Stop talking like that. All right. Let's rewind time. It's chrono trigger time now. So I'm going back in time to witness the last four minutes alive. So yeah, puzzles are basically time time passes, and you have to do specific things at specific moments in the person's past. Wake up, are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no, he's dead. Thanks, rooster chicken lady man. Who are you? That's him. There he is. I miss... Well, I don't miss exactly, but I, I miss when pixel art games like this were popular and like, you know, common stuff. I really think the shitty 3D like marketing thing of the 90s ruined a lot of people's like mindset. Like I just saw, um, I just saw somebody posting stuff about Breath of Fire, um, Breath of Fire, um, PS1, I think. The pixel art in that game is gorgeous. Let me see if I can find an example here. Oh, no, you ruined it. No, no, I don't, I don't want emulated screenshots. I want the pixel art. Like some of the bot, I guess some of the graphics were 3D, but they look, 3D art looks kind of poopy compared to the pixel art. There was a Twitter post that really, uh... No, it's got a filter on it too. I hate emulated screenshots. Don't, don't put shitty filters on your goddamn screenshots. Like, I guess this probably doesn't look too bad if you're not familiar with the base game, but like, it's just all smudged up. Like everything is round and squishy and it was originally like, you know, pixel by pixel designed and it looks a lot better if you don't do that. I hate that stuff. And that's where we're playing Ghost Trick in regular resolution. Um, but there's, ugh, fuck. I saw some tweets. I, I saw some tweets of the unmolested pixel art and uh, it looks really good. But like games like that sold really poorly because people like, eh, well, it's not. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Final. It took so long. It took so long to find a picture just unmarred by this emulation ugliness. Like this isn't even a particularly great shot of the game, but look at it. It looks really good. Um, there's even better sprites and stuff that I was seeing. But um, this is kind of a decent enough example. I think it looks really good. And people hated games like this at the time. They were like, oh, like Symphony of the Night had a contemporary review calling it like, oh, it looks terrible. And it's like, oh, look at the N64 game. It looks, it looks so good. The, the N64 Castlevania game fucking sucked. And it looked terrible. But anyway, a little sidetrack there. Here's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this. You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing Who Done It right now, this this woman talks all through all of the game, and I I'm not gonna do like I gotta just do a normal voice. There's too much reading in this game for me to try to give people silly voices. Instead of trying to play Who Done It right now, you ought to be concerned about your own fate. Who are you? Some sort of hitman? What do you want with me? It said rub out. <laughs> <laughs> they said we had to rub out all the last traces of the Temisk left in this country. Tem Temsic? What in the world is that? Beats me. I just do what I'm told. 
Now that I, all I know is you got nowhere else to run to. Time to die, sister. I mean, oh ho. As long as that bad boy wrecking ball stays right there where it belongs. But <laughs> just give me hints in your monologue. Thanks. Excellent. I didn't know emulators filter the pixels. Uh, it's an option. In fact, I can ruin this game right now. Voila. Now it's all, it's the same except it's a little fuzzy. And you can see weird cubes at the edges. And um, this isn't even one of the worst ones really. Um, then we can do, what's the super eagle? What's one of the ones that like really screws it up? Yeah, what you usually want is, I use nearest, which is like, it leaves the pixels nice and crispy. Um, oh God, oh Jesus. <laughs> that, that that changed the screen size as well, but that that's this is one of the ones I really don't like. It tries to like approximate between the pixels and like pretend like it inserts information that's not actually there. Anyway, we're just gonna keep it on nearest 2x is what I'm using. As a young bab, I used to use some of those filters on like SNES 9x and stuff, but nah, nah. Just just give me the pixels. Higher resolution in 3D games, sure, but but you can't really add detail to art. This is just business. I'm so glad this guy. So long, sister. I'm so glad this guy gives hints in his monologues. Ow. A shotgun, kind of a flashy weapon for Hitman, don't you think? Not flashy, just thorough. They call me nearsighted Jigo, but I never let my prey get away. Ever thought about buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty sim right now. Wow. What a, what a cool dude. My eyesight sucks and you're dead. What a cool dude. Yeah, filters can look pretty nasty. There's also, what else do we got? What's e Epix Plus? Oh! Oh! Oh, that is scummy! Oh, look at that! Oh, that's horrible! <laughs> that is some scum! Look at the crispiness! Oh, it looks like... <laughs> this is like... The Russian, like, bootleg version of this game. Like, Ivan has been working all-nighters for three days, and he, he can't really write anymore, but he has to do it. We'll, we'll let Ivan rest. We'll let him rest. Back back to nearest. There we go. A woman toyed with my fate, and a man toyed with by a ghost. It's a pretty good hentai plot. Yeah. She still died. <laughs> yes. All right. More tutorial. I mean, he is, I mean, he doesn't let his nearsightedness, he's, it's, it's kind of flashy cinematic here. Um, he's kind of inspiring. He does not let his, um, he doesn't let his nearsightedness define him. Except for the part where he's called nearsighted Jago, but you know, of course it was your gateway to the past. So yeah, we're stuck down here. So sometimes that makes things complicated. Hop in. Model? Ugh. It's so weird to me when people like don't understand Simpsons references. That's the one thing where like, I, I can't relate to people that have never seen like Simpsons ep like season two through, I think it's like 13 is the generally agreed on. Um, goodness point. Only four minutes left before she dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no time to lose. No time to lose. No time to lose. No time to lose. I guess Monty Python is another thing that you... Watch Monty Python and The Simpsons before watching my videos. And Homestar Runner. Those three, that's really the trifecta for me. Um, Simpsons back when it was good. Um, Homestar Runner. Especially the, the Compi and Lappy eras. And... Um, Monty Python. Not so much the movies. The movies are alright. Um, 
Tire! Whee! Okay, so the top screen is slightly useful, but I'm just gonna... Wait, can I put it over to the side, maybe? See these layout. Horizontal. There'd be... Oh. <laughs> now you get a little bit of... No, you don't want it. You don't need to see that. Um, hang on. Hmm. This kind of uglies up my presentation on my side of things, but that's okay. Uh, all I need to do is cut off this. That should do it. How does that look? Is there like an extra pixel? Yeah, there's one more. One pixel. God, I hate that. Okay. One teeny. There, got it. Sorry, I hate this. Oh no, it's not! Ugh, I hate this, sorry. I hate doing this live. I, I tried to set this up, but I didn't think the, um... I didn't think the top screen mattered. Anyway, we can open the refrigerator. DS games, due to the whole double screens thing, they just don't work on anything else, which is why the DS is one of the least ported, like, systems with good games. Um, and I, this is kind of why I'm glad the Switch is just one screen. <laughs> we gotta rub him out. He's gonna rub out his golden gun. Time is passing. The little time is passing thing usually tells you that, um, ah, oh, crap that something major is going to happen or has just happened. Turn on the blender. Oh, I know what we need. We need this young man. And then get into the flag. Raise me. Raise me, chief. Yeah. <laughs> the blender pulls the cord. Beautiful. Let me move my... That'll do. Streaming DS games is complicated. I, I guess I'm not surprised. Like I said, it's a it's a very weird system. And fortunately, this is one of the games that isn't too readed out. All right, so we need to smash him with that ball. We just sm smash his ball before he rubs it out. It's a very, it's a very naughty game. It's not, it's really not. I'm probably demonetized already, though. I said ball. Uh-oh. Time until death, three seconds! Uh-oh. Jingle! Ow! <laughs> Nearsighted Jigo never misses, as long as the target with this is within a point-blank range. That's that's some good skill, Jigo. Looks like he made it in time, just barely. She's still alive for, for a very few seconds. Fate changed. Oh, don't fall into like the trash compactor there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oops, sorry. Bridge is up. Oh, can we get to that ball? Oh wait, what's what are we thinking about? Said her fate was changed, but it looks like she's still in the same predicament. Said her fate was changed ever so slightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, if you like those um, steamed hams, um, if you like the steamed hams things, one of the best, like, highest effort one I ever saw was, um, was, um, there's a steamed hams ghost trick, and it actually, like, invents, like, original, oh, here we go, um, uh, like, it, it made, like, little 3D ghost trick style stuff, and, um, that's really cool. Here we go. Like, it has its own ghost trick style story where, like, Homer is dead and he has to save Skin <laughs> He has to save, um, Skinner. It's really cool. You can say they're the same ghost guy two times. I'm not sure what you mean. Prepare to extend! Oh, we just barely missed him. Oh, well. Streetlight. Well, I know, I, I've played enough video games to know what happens here. Bloop! <laughs> uh, 
Jeff in the chat. Dead. How does it feel to save a lady's life? So the danger is gone? Yes, it looks like the danger. Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. He's he's fine. He just rolled away. He just cartoon got splatted onto the ball. He's fine now. It's it's just like, you know, an oily coyote gets like put through a chipper shredder. You used your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? You most certainly did. I know you could do it. Fate averted. I lost my life tonight, but I saved somebody else's life. That's pretty cool. Imagine having one of these like wacky ass fictional clocks where like all the numbers are different sizes. When I came back to the present, it was raining. It keeps raining lately, but not at times I can like enjoy it. I like rain, but I need to be like inside with like a good view of the rain. And, and no tornadoes, ideally. There was a tornado watch earlier today. Um, obviously I'm fine. So a tornado has passed. I don't think it, well, I don't know if it touched down. I didn't hear like explosions and stuff. So I don't think it got too close, but yeah, tornadoes suck. That's why you gotta have a basement around here. <clears throat> I'd saved the life of the stranger now sitting forlornly in the rain. Even as the story of my own life on this planet comes to an end, Oh no, she's got sneeze disease. She's got the, <gasps> she's got the corona. A stranger, that word strikes a chord. Terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I don't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? Most important of all. Why was I killed? Man, ghost amnesia. Just my goddamn luck, ghost amnesia. Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you anyway? Just call me Ray. As in Ray of Light in the Darkness. Oh, shut up, Ray. So you aren't gonna tell me your real name, I take it. You haven't told me your name yet either, actually. Uh, I, I can't remember. I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. Some of us get used to, some of us get our memories back. Others never do. But if you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead. And that is to disappear. Disappear? The sun rises in the morning. Afraid you'll cease to exist. What? Tomorrow morning? Wait a minute, these powers of the dead. Yes? I like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life that might that be? Do you have to ask? Mine, of course. Ah, I see. Think about it this way. We could use ghost tricks to save ourselves. Wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me. I'm a desk lamp. Why a desk lamp, anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. In my case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding. We only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. There's really no escaping my own death. Well, that sucks, but hey. Maybe we can help some more people. Or maybe this game is really short. One of the two. Apparently, there's nothing I can do about that. Just the same, I want to know. I want to know my story. The lost story of my fate. Right up until the time of my death. Until I learn that. You won't be able to rest in peace, right? That's right, Lamp. Oh well. I don't understand how you feel. You want to go and learn the truth about your own death, as you should. If you wonder why I do this that, that voice for that character, you'll, you'll find out. I will. But let's see. How should I go about doing that, I wonder? Can you imagine what the first step would be? First step, that's easy. Start with her. Yeah, let's stalk her. Let's stalk Mrs. Roosterhead, lady, that I don't remember the name of. What's up, buddy? The, by the way, the animations of this game are absolutely superb. They just, even even on the 3DS's super low resolution, just beautiful animations. You haven't really seen anything yet, honestly. It's been good so far, but there's some really good stuff. You might know who I am. All right, she's the key to everything tonight. She really is. She really is. Touch to view a record. 
Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So I I probably won't need that feature too much because I played this game twice. But I have I'm in that memory thing of like I remember the vague steps. Like I said, I like that. I like to um. What is it? The time of my death. It's kind of excuse me. It's kind of neat because these um. These kind of change as that time goes on. All right, and that's where we can save. Yes. Don't. I think I beat this on DS as well. I know I beat it on iOS. That's the first time I played it. I was totally enthralled. This was so. This was such a good. If all mobile games were like were like this, mobile games would be like good. <laughs> I know there's good mobile games and everything, but like, well, crap. Um. I'll let out of my sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta try to move our body freely. Oh, we got a shimmy. That works. Hey, I'm a bike. Hey, kid, I'm a computer. <laughs> Hello. It me? How you doing? What the world just happened? Crane moved all by itself. That big iron ball fell all by itself. So it's raining all by itself. Okay, that, that that part, that's just kind of how that happens. The umbrella came down all by itself. <gasps> oh my goodness. Don't tell me I have psychokinetic powers. No. No, no you don't. Sorry. But I do, kind of. Maybe. Would, would, would being a poltergeist be considered psychokinetic or is it just, I don't know. I oh, hear that jerk butt got a call, didn't he? Kitty! Hello? Mew! Hi, kitty. <laughs> Earthbound 3 confirmation. Mother 4 confirmed. But seriously, what in the world just happened? Did you not see the kitty? You gotta pet the kitty. What's this? Some kind of note? Can I read? Let me read this. Did I write this note? Maybe I should give it a read. You don't remember writing it, eh? No, I don't remember writing it. Even more importantly. <gasps> the phone! <laughs> I love the music just telling us, yes, bad things are on the other side of this phone. Oh, I didn't get a chance to read that note. Yeah, the phone call is from the bad guys. <laughs> yes, give me flashbacks to 10 minutes ago. By the way, I started Yakuza Kiwami too. Um, good game so far. I I hate the, the method of... Um, is it ambient occlusion? The kind of like weird halos around characters. I think it's using like a cheap kind of um, ambient occlusion. It looks a little weird, but most of the graphics look good. It's just that particular kind of ambient occlusion is not very good. And, and it's 30 FPS. It looks really, it kind of feels blurry when stuff is moving. It, it's weird to go to after the 60 FPS of the um, Yakuza 0 and 1, but it's, it's a good game. It's very moment on the other end of the telephone line. It's the culprit who ordered your murder. What? The gameplay system seemed good too, I just haven't gotten very far in. I recommend you possess the telephone. After you've done that, I'll tell you all about one of your other ghost tricks. Okay. <laughs> Giving flashbacks every five minutes is a Shu Takumi thing. Really? I, I didn't know. I haven't... Have I? I don't think I have played um, their other stuff. Let me look up real quick on works. Yeah, I knew Phoenix right. Dino Crisis! Really? I didn't know that. I knew I knew he was big at Capcom, and yeah, he's the um, you know director of uh, Ace Attorney, which most people probably know him from. But I didn't know he did Dino Crisis. I love Dino Crisis. Um, has anyone played Dino Crisis Three? Because I'm curious. Is it so bad it's good, or is it just I would hate playing it? Is it that kind of bad? Because I like Dino Crisis 1 and 2. 2 is really weird. It's a really weird game. But uh, 
It's not exactly bad, but three. <laughs> Dino Crisis 3 is bad, I know that much. Is it done? Speak up, man. Did you get her? <laughs> Look at this fucking... This is like Dr. Robotnik's evil uncle. Like Dr. Nikra. Nikrobe. No, Dr. Kentobar. Did you know there's... In the, in the, in the Sonic anime, Dr. Robotnik's original name is Dr. Kentobar, which is literally just Robotnik backwards. And he turned evil and now he's Dr. Robotnik and put his name backwards. I'm not making that up, by the way. It's incredible. And he was like a good guy and like did science, but he, <laughs> he went evil, so he put his name backwards. If I ever change the channel's name to, to Pat Pat, just know that I'm gonna be evil. And I'm gonna make robots. I'm gonna turn animals into robots. Now he does look a bit more like Dr. Wily, but he's got like, his, he just has that Dr. Robotnik energy. His eyebrows are like Robotnik's mustache. Hmm, yes, a thousand pardons, my dear lady. I must have dialed the wrong number, ha <laughs> ha. Hang up the phone. Look at what a ritzy place he's in, by the way. Trace complete. So that's him, huh? The man who stole my life. That's right, what do you think? Would you like to go see him? Better believe I would. You'd do well to listen to me. See, so yeah, we can travel by phone lines. What's everybody been playing, by the way, in the chat? I see you there. I see you. Like I said, I've been playing Yakuza Kiwami. Just finished two. Um, I hope I don't get too burnt out on it or anything. I was waiting. I was gonna wait a while, because I got, um... Animal Crossing, but I'm pretty burnt out on Animal Crossing already. I don't think New Horizons is that great, honestly. I think... I think it's one of those games that at first blush, it seems fantastic if you're a new player. It seems great, but it's just missing so much stuff. Um... And it's just, there's so much daily crap that you have to do, but it's really not fun. And the NPC visits are so sparse, like I haven't seen Red in two weeks. It just sucks. Anyway, not an Animal Crossing stream. I have, I have my beef with that one. It's a good game, but definitely very notable flaws compared to earlier games. I feel like, and it feels like the stuff that's missing is on purpose because they've been adding stuff back and the data mines suggest that too, that they've been adding stuff um, one by one. And so I kind of feel like I should be playing it like a year from now. Because it feels like in a year, Animal Crossing New Horizons will have all of that old Animal Crossing stuff that, that they removed this time so far. I'm trusting you to get to the bottom and find out the truth. You're the only one who can do it. I want to use your powers of the dead to find this truth. Very, very dramatic, Ray, thank you. Grateful for everything I've done, but I can't promise I'll help. Wow, some protagonist you are. Tomorrow morning I cease to exist. That doesn't give me a whole lot of time. I need to pursue my own mystery, find out the truth about myself. That's more than enough, huh? If you succeed in doing that, you'll have done what I asked anyway. The two are one and the same. How do you know this lamp? <laughs> this desk lamp knows a whole lot more than he's telling me. Now then. From that call a moment ago, you have the culprit's phone number. The rest is all up to you. Hi, Parker. Hi. Yes. Meh, meh. Let's go to Sis1729. Parker Beast, please. Hi. Yes. Yes. You've been. He's been needy today. I've been on the couch, though. He loves when I'm on the couch. That's right. So the story of the search for myself begins. Tomorrow morning, I cease to exist, and I'm surprisingly okay with this fact. I have to find the answers before the sun comes up. <laughs> this game does... Now that you mention it, it actually does do that a lot. Um, he does kind of like... Which I guess is not the worst thing. Just going back and constantly being like, Hey, remember this? Um, I mean, obviously you can overdo it, but sometimes they'll be like... This is, there's a fairly major plot thing and it's only mentioned like once and then I step away from a game for like a few weeks and I totally don't remember it. Um, I've lost a couple of RPGs 
like lost them to the to the sands of time because it's like okay where was i going where was i in the plot which town do i go to what am i doing Woo. Woo. hi parker mega mind grandpa i don't even know what that is who am i <laughs> the, the, the chapter is kind of i guess it assumes you take a break between the chapters which we're not probably gonna do except whenever we end a stream which like i said probably three to four hours So, here's our killer. At least it's nice and ritzy. Hmm. Yes, if what I read in this file is true, someone could be bedeviling a bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased tonight. I forgot what voice I was doing with him. Confound that nearsighted Jigo. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, sir. I have taken next step, sir. Okay, frickin' nemesis T-type. <laughs> you gotta love the animations in this game. It's so good. Just give it a little smack there. Ah, Parker, don't do that. Um, yes. I already forgot his voice again. I say, the last thing I ever expected to see was to talk to the target herself. Even if it was only over the telephone. I must admit, my good man, but me in quite the tizzy there for a moment. <laughs> what is this place? All the luxurious furnishings? It's oddly refined music. And there's like science corridor below us. It's interesting. The odd little machine. I've never seen a room like this before. One thing's for sure. These people are assassins. <laughs> I love the dude's hair. There's some real like, um, well, Capcom vibes. Like Capcom, that PS1, like th that, that guy on the right could be in Mega Man Legends, no problem. Capcom is such a weird case. They were really bad PS3 gen, and they're kind of good again. There's a lot of series they still aren't doing, but um, we got Mega Man, I guess. I, I would like more not classic Mega Man. Classic Mega Man is my least favorite. Anyway, they're trying to kill the red-headed woman. We, we've, we have certainly got that. All right, let's read this thing. Can I? Nope. Can't do anything but this. Take a look at. Ah! Oh! Don't, don't, don't put me in the book. Hmm. Yes. How much longer, my good man? We are charging our backup power, sir. Process could be complete in about thirty minutes, sir. Hmm. Yes. Confound that Jigo, I say. Maybe his reliable range gets shorter and shorter. <laughs> Just wear glasses, bro. He'll get coal in his next pay envelope. Confound it. Okay, Mr. Burns. My suggest glasses in his envelope and sensor. Seems this file contains information about that redhead, but I can't read it while it's closed. How does my... Oh, hello. Great Scott, did you see that? The file, I say. The file reared up and snapped at me, my good man. Nearly bit my head off. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that the target Miss Lean is no longer a threat, sir. Bah, that's not what I'm talking about, man. Lynn, that's her name, is it? This file. It's like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. Haha, <laughs> I can't read. Might I suggest putting that way the file and relaxing, sir? Yeah, that is a hint. We, um... The, the, the people with the inhuman skin tone... Oh. Um... Might not be from around here. Is something they're kind of trying to beat into our heads. <laughs> I love... I love the stupid chandelier. I love that. And that. How does that work? You have a very you have a very important job of head of you tonight, sir. Eat the grapes. Yeah, eat the grapes. Yeah. Sure it's a weird room. Who exactly are these people? Yeah, eat the grapes, yeah. Lamp. Let's stick with this. Yeah, give him a fright. <laughs> Egad, man, are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. <laughs> Love that slap. Ooh! That's me! Hmm, yes, yeah, Sissel. If all goes well with our deal tonight, we will have the power to change the world, sir. 
Or to change the world, you say? Mm, yes, it's a very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. That's why we can't afford to trust that Sissel. Now we must be very careful. Good good luck for you, because I'm freaking dead. Trust is no longer required. Sissel, that must be my name. Now that I've heard it, it does sound familiar. Deal, eh? What could that all be about? So what exactly was I up to, I wonder? Well, we learned our name. Love that. <laughs> Love the little piano keys popping out there on the chandelier. We are completely prepared for tonight, sir. Yeah, eat the grapes. Yeah, eat the <laughs> I love the little extra grape popping out. Mm, yes, now time to pluck the fruit of success. Ha ha ha! The animation is so beautiful. Sorry. I'm screwing with my drink. One thing's clear, these villains seem to know me. And another thing, it seems there's some kind of connection between me and this Lin. Else where names both come up here like this. Well. Time to get the hell out of here. Um if we can. Probably have to do this again. Right. Uh, where's the phone? Oh, I need to get to that thing. <laughs> there's there's a little bit of rejiggering things about in this, so now I should be able to get to it. New gel for hair. I mean, Sissel seems like the kind of guy who would know about hair gel. Like, how many gallons of product do you think he has in that? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Poor guy. Startled by the same telephone twice. Look at his beak. Follow your nose! Problem must be solved, sir. The Miss Lin problem, sir? What Lin? Yes. You mentioned taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead Tango to her apartment, sir. I love these names. That telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. Very good, very good. Lin's in danger again. All right, Lin, stop, stop dying. This is one step ahead Tango. I'm at the target's apartment now. And out with it, man. Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. At least this guy has glasses. That only stands to reason. If the target got here first. They wouldn't call me one step ahead now, would they? True enough, true enough. I don't get it. But in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman division? This is a Hitman division? How many people do these guys need whacked? I mean, they were talking about rubbing people out, but geez, now they they have a whole bunch of whackers. Bah, no man, now you're even getting one step ahead of me! We can discuss my new salary later. Great great bleh. I f I'm not I'm not in shape to do voices tonight. Great Scott! No, that was that was not the right voice at all. Great Scott! Now you even get ahead of the your, your last one step ahead. I'll get back to my job now, sir. You found it? You're even hanging up one step ahead. He's dedicated to his role in life. You gotta you gotta respect a man. Who knows? Life. Well, hey. What did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some of nearsighted Jigo's pay. Lin, I can't lose, sir. She's my only lead if I ever hope to solve the mystery. All right, time to go on the phone, Lin's apartment. And you can actually, at various points in the game, you can go and peek back here. We'll, we'll definitely make sure every chapter to peek out the uh, luxurious parlor. There's some little extra bits you can get here and there. I'm sure it's convenient that ghosts can use phones. Do they work with cell phone? <gasps> Pupper! Telephone li line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't here yet. Unfortunately, the hitman is. A couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. 
anime lady is tied up. She's like in one of my Japanese animes, Snake! Looks like there's an unfortunate little lucky lady here tonight. And a less fortunate dog. <laughs> Even unluckier little doggy. Poor brave little warrior. Must have been trying to defend his mistress. You can't just break into somebody's house and shoot their dog. What are you, a cop? Flynn came here now. I have to do something about this situation fast. Well, fortunately, we can use an umbrella. Okay, that's not that's not what we're supposed to do. We can open this. Okay. Hello, pupper. Hey, you doing okay? Huh? Where am I? More to the point, who am I? Who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Of course. Do you see anybody else around here? If I remember, the dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach the other person directly. Guess it explains why this dog is talking to me now. This is your mistress' apartment, and you're presumably the little doggy who died here. Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see, the dead lose their memory. I forget what they even look like. That's what this blue flame shape is about. Oh! There's no time to lose! Miss Cam Camellia! My Miss Camellia's in trouble! <laughs> missile is great. This is Missile. Spoilers. <laughs> He's about to die. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry, I was one step ahead. Just call me one step ahead, tap tap. This is Missile, and we've been trying to get a Missile emoji for the uh, Discord. I just need something that's in... Well, emoji ratio. I'm a Pomeranian! He's a Pomeranian. Well, I guess it's not it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this little doggy. Miss Camellia! Miss Camellia! My Miss Camellia is in trouble. I vowed to devote my life to protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. How could I let her down like this? The the palm. If you've seen my palm gets Wi-Fi, let's play, you know that all palms are like this. That was a really fun game, by the way. We might have to stream. It's not too long of a game. We should stream that someday. I did there's a full let's play I have of Palm Gets Wi-Fi. It's really good. It's an RPG maker, like, dog needs to get Wi-Fi thing. It's, it's better than it sounds. So you're more worried about your mistress' safety than your own death, huh? I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save his life. New info has been added. All right, let's save Missile. First of all, I'd better see what I can find about your death. Excuse me, but where exactly are we? Huh? You followed me? I followed you! You brought me with you, one or the other. Looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? I love I love the explosion sound effect that Missile has every time. Missile's named after the director's dog, I think. Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just traveled through time and not especially. I mean, Miss Kamala can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. <laughs> Missile is incredible, by the way. So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time. So that's the mind your worry works. I guess that's reasonable enough. Come on, let's get started. Okay, first we watch the first four minutes. Behold, bleh. First we watch the first four minutes unfold, then we learn to use what we learned to save Camellia. Watch closely, we ought to find a new leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course! Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues. All right, Missile. Also, Missile has like five tails, and I never really understood what the deal is with that. I thought my game was glitching, but no, he's just like that. He's like a proto Kitsune or something? I don't know. <laughs> oh, this lady, holy shit. This lady's animations are amazing. Missile, chill. Slow your roll. Slow it all the way down. No, Missile, you're not supposed to bark. And next to me is even crabbier than night. If it barks again, I'll knock this wall down. She will, though. Freaking scary as hell. I loved the hairdo is incredible. The actual rose hair. You don't want her to knock down the wall, do you, boy? Why do you like to bark so much, anyway? Sure, cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? <laughs> well, about that, actually. Darn, I really wanted to watch TV, too. 
Hey, I know. I'll listen to music. Like, I never fully understood if it's supposed to be like just like missile is wagging the tail so fast, but even when missile is still, there's multiple tail. Oh, she's got the headphones on, so she can't hear it. I see. See, so, like even when it's slow, I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. She's just got a bowl of donuts. Do you have any idea how much I would weigh if there was just a bowl of donuts at all times in my house? I would weigh at least 10 more donuts in weight per day. I'll knock this wall down. Maybe like five donuts. Actually, I, I'm not sure I've ever eaten more than two donuts and that's pretty extreme. <laughs> donuts are very rich. No. No. Hmm, I don't really like when jobs outside the original scope pop up. I'll have to put down as a separate charge and accounting never likes that. I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. No. Those are some really good headphones, though. Like, th that noise canceling, that shit works. So that's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. I also like how the four minutes, it's almost never actually four minutes. It's just, that's a good amount of time for the puzzle. Well, look at that, I'm dead. I'm kind of shocked to tell the truth. Okay, let's get started on saving her. Wait, how are we gonna do this? It seems the easiest way for me would for you to take a big bite out of the guy's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is, Welcome! I can't help it. Okay, then I guess the only thing we can do to the little lady is help herself somehow. I don't think she could do that. Do you notice they're plugging those red things on her head? Red things? Oh, you mean the headphones? Whenever she puts those red things on, that's it. I can call her name until my throat is sore. She never hears me. Be perfectly honest, I hate those red things. It's... <laughs> Yeah, the, the game is rather overt at its hints, especially early on. So yeah, we gotta get the headphones off. Hmm. That's not really gonna help us. She can fit her whole ass under that um, sofa there. Where are the headphones? I think they must be in here. Oh, there they are. Oh, hey. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I can't quite knock them in there yet. Does this... For the beginning... Oh, yeah. Um, in, a, in a rare few cases, you can go from like a certain... There's like a couple time points you can go back to. But I don't think that happens until much later in the game. So we can bump the headphones, but we need a little something more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Time is passing. Yes! That time is passing usually tells you the uh, critical moments. Rip the headphones. How did I manage to do that? Lynch just bought me these headphones too. What if we tell her you did it, Missile? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome! Darn, I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. <laughs> Forgive me, Miss Camellia, I was only trying to do it to save you. So now what? Do you think you're one of the gods, huh? Huh? No, I never said that. The important thing is, we managed to change the situation. Alright, we have the power of hearing. What a glorious power it is. And... Not much else we can do from over here. Must be Crimbus. With a mood for donuts tonight. Yeah, get that donut. Can we do anything from over here? Whoop. Oh no. Where'd the donuts go? Hey, hey. No, I'm doing I'm doing a thing. <laughs> she just doesn't care about the donut. Alright. actually remember exactly what to do here. We got a lot of balls coming in here. Alright, we got the ball. 
All right, most of these are hints. I probably won't read most of the thought bubbles just because the game is pretty long and I want to keep it to three to four streams, ideally. Um, feel free to recommend if there's any specifically good ones to read, but usually they're just hints. <laughs> I graduated from playing with balls a long time ago. <laughs> just try to graduate from needless barking. Yeah, Missile will never give that up. Hmm. Oh, I see a little something here. Video games love Christmas, especially Japanese games. Yakuza's always in, like, Christmas time, too. Uh, what's this? You can rock the painting. No, that doesn't help. Um... We got Missile's Ball, maybe. Hmm. That is very interesting, but we can't reach it yet. I put a donut. Four donuts. <gasps> mouse! Oh, it's a pink mouse. I don't honestly remember exactly what we're trying to do here. Bad missile. <laughs> Poor guy's up against some formidable fellows. Yes, he really unfortunately is. Mm -hmm. I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. Does anyone have rats? Like, I, I guess as pets or just in your house. Donut can be the bait. Interesting. You can get the... Hmm. I think we may just need to let the events play out and then see what we need to change. It's a very interesting method of puzzle presentation, I guess. Hmm. I don't remember what we're supposed to do once the uh, evil dude comes in. I also like that you can kind of look around. Let's see the, like... Air vents and crap. See the eye beams in the floor. Hmm. I complained about it enough in the Abyssrium videos, but man, I that that game's developers are so stunningly bad at like everything. Um they don't <laughs> every every single update there's some new bug and people ask me about the bug and it's like what am i supposed to do i don't i can't do things i can't fix the game oh, i couldn't rock why couldn't i rock out a donut with the donut hmm i don't remember what exactly to do huh i oh i see that bug i see that bug Thought that donut squeaky guy gonna come. Looks like only one donut will fall. I should rethink my plan of attack. Oh shit. After fate change. Oh yeah, here we go. So you can rewind to this fate change specifically. Don't remember exactly what to do here. I know that we need a donut. My only thought is to roll the donut over here and smack it with the with the um cupboard. Hmm. Feel free to give me a hint. I don't remember the exact situation here. Like I said, this is this is not quite blind, but it's like, you know, wearing the wrong person's glasses level of blind. It's like it's like nearsighted Jigo levels of blind. Do anything with the lamp. Oh, right. I gotta knock the thing off the uh, thing first. Chill yourself, missile. 
by the way go um not ghost trick obviously we're playing ghost trick um chaos wars next week usual time um 6 p.m is when like 99 percent of streams are um i just don't remember what the hell we do with that ball if you can do things with it it's important Hang on, I wonder what the save state buttons are. Save state. Shift F1. Error loading one slot, what? Oh, I think my save state paths aren't correct. Hang on. Might save us just a little bit of time. Where's the save state? Oh. Oh, it's at a drive that doesn't exist anymore. I, I, I move my drives on my PC around. And uh, there we go. Okay, now I can do save states if we ever need to like save time. Um, this game has kind of built in save states with the time rewind thing, but you're losing up to like four minutes, which w with the stream is a little bit clumsy. Cl clumsy. I was trying to say cumbersome and clumsy at the same time. It just became clumsy. I think I'm onto something with the donuts. All right, crush the rat. <laughs> All right, what did that do? I like to bark at things that move. I guess everything does look like a toy to a dog, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we know. Is is there a reason missile has like four tails? Is that ever like brought up? Time is passing. Does that do anything? I think we were supposed to do that, but a little bit later. The puzzles, you do have to repeat the puzzles in this. It's a little confusing. But I don't want to spoil everything. I mean, I have beat it before, but... I don't like to just know everything word by word before I do a thing. It just makes reacting a lot less fun. Yeah, this is... If I had one major complaint about this game... There's a lot of just sitting and waiting for the next thing to happen. That that is a pretty notable annoyance. Um, the, the the graphics and everything are great. The story, the mystery of the story and everything is really great. The characters love them. Um, the actual puzzles, when you can do things, are great. It's just you get kind of stuck in this situation. So I think. Unfortunately, I think what I need to do is this. What's a speed up? Um, it's gotta be a speed up button in Desmumi, right? Firmware control config? No, it'd be hotkey. Hotkey. Limit frame rate toggle. I'll make that tab. Oh wait, no, that's already a, that's already a thing. Ugh, why doesn't it mute? I hate when things do that. It should mute the sound when you're fast forwarding. Uh... I guess I can just mute the game audio when I do this. I hate that. Why is that such a rare emulator feature to mute the sound when you're fast forwarding? How has anyone ever played a game on fast forward and not been like, ah, oh, this sounds terrible? It sounds so bad so quickly. Missile has to follow the ball under the couch. That's what it is? So I need Missile to see the thing, but Missile said that they don't care about that. 
So... Hmm. Yeah, go ahead and give me hints if if it's like, you know, if it's for the immediate puzzle, then hints are fine. I think it's... need this. Knock that thing over. Um... So I think what I need to do... Knock this over. Get the rat out. Then once the um, once the dog's barking at the rat, it has to see the thing move. All right, let me save a state there. There we go. Yeah, go into the thing. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was it. Fight. Oh, here we go. Cute little missile. And then, okay, so I was trying to like wait it out and there's, there's a few rare situations where um, you just have to make a thing happen instead of that. Well, it's not necessarily rare, but yeah, waiting it out wasn't gonna work there. My prey is bound to come home sometime. May as well make myself comfortable in the meantime. Lock your doors, people. I forget what voice I did for him already. Fate averted, it has. Poor thing is still curled up in a ball, shaking with fear. Well, yeah, that's true, but it's not so bad. See of things, I'd say she's just fine. And look, you're not dead. All right, we did it, didn't we? We did it! Well, B. Trevice, you're the one who did it. Huh? Me? I saved Miss Camellia? Yep. You're the one who let out, hid under the sofa, right? Protected your mistress. I can attest to that. Oh. Oh, thank you. Yes. Good missile. Pet, pet, pet. <laughs> this music's going crazy. Well, exactly the strange powers of yours. Are oh, you mean my ghost tricks? Apparently, they have the power to manipulate inanimate, inanimate objects. The ghost tricks? Can I do them too? I'm dead too, after all. I guess. I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now, but they won't budge for me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't really know. Guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say about that. That's not fair! Sorry, but I guess not everybody gets the powers of the dead. So what's gonna happen to me now? Nothing, really. Your death has been erased. So I have to go back to being a little happy little doggy living in everyday life? I guess this means goodbye. But we'll meet us again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe. If you die again... What you did for me tonight, I'll never forget. Thanks, Missile. Well, better get back to the present. Good music in this game, too. Some good Capcom-y music. Like I said, I miss I miss this era of Capcom. I know a new present is born. The lady's still curled up in a ball, shaking with fear. Happy doggo. Ima imagine, like, being doomed, and, like, if, if, if doggo borks, you die. Very bad situation to be in. Doggo is always primed and ready to bork. What? Still at the junkyard? Alright, got it. I'm on my way. Yes, just leave, please. <laughs> Guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. Just haven't played enough of that junkyard yet. Can't let nearsighted Jigo beat me on this one. They better hurry. You're such a dumbass. Love him just holding the gun and like. What was all that about? You saved me, didn't you, Missile? I know you did. Maybe I shouldn't answer it. Nah, you should. Answer it. Lynn! Well, we gotta go see where Lynn is. 
you know, keep her from dying and stuff. Which, oops. I changed the DPI on my mouse. Oh, I got a good mouse at work, finally. I should have asked for it before, but I, um... My mouse and, um... It's a little doggy all curled up on the floor. Dreaming away the life we worked so hard to get back for him. That's fine. But what's up with that core? Dead can't possess living creatures. It's one of the rules Mr. Deathlamp taught me. It's a living, breathing doggy doing with the core. Better type possessing him and see. Hey, missile. Oh, it's you, it's you! It's, hmm. Come to think of it, I never did ask your name. Guess it's good we get ran to each other again. It's a good chance for us to reintroduce each other. You mean you forgot me already? Bleh. Forgot me already? After everything we shared together? The drama? The tearful goodbye? I'm Missile! But you know, it's strange. I wonder why you remember me, now that you're alive again. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course I do! All of it! Okay, let me get this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear. The dead I meet in the world develop a core that return to the land of the living. If I possess that core, I can talk to that person. Seems that way, yes? Thanks, thanks for the tutorial, I guess. Well, time to go over here. What's up? Gotta go on that phone. Can I, can I bonk her leg? Aw. Boo. All right, what's up, Lynn? How you doing? She's the trash man. Camellia, oh, thank goodness you're okay. Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You just want you to leave just what? Listen to me, you gotta get out of there right now. What about dinner? I was just making spaghetti tonight. I won't be getting that back there for a while, and you might be in danger if you stay there too. But I was in danger just a little while ago. Meet me at that restaurant. Chicken Kitchen on Dead End Drive. That's a, that sounds like a good place to be. On Dead End Drive? That's definitely where I would want to be if multiple assassins were chasing me. Dead End Drive, I don't know. That's pretty far. It's true, okay? And one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? Music box? I love music boxes. Is it a present for me? I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. You can't very well call it a music box, can you? More like just box. Just bring it, okay? It's kind of big and it's made out of wood. Okay, I will. What, what, where is it? I kind of hid it in that room you're in. Oh God. Excuse me. Eek! Len! Oop! Rip. Terrifying old man. Not again! What is- is that a fish tank? Darn, now I dropped the phone in there too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? <laughs> Missile is happy to be the blame for everything. I sure hope Lynn's alright. I better get going. I know where Dead End Drive is. I never saw any music box around here. How am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Missile? Missile knows everything. Help me look, okay? Alright, Missile. Let's do this. All right, so I knew we, oh, hello, missile. What's going on? Help oh, with that great nose. What kind of smell should I be looking for? Oh, I don't really know. Oh. <laughs> I'm being consoled by a dog. All right, so we know where the music box is already. Because this is obviously a music box. The problem is, how are we supposed to get up there? Now this I don't exactly remember what to do. So we can't quite reach up there. So there's this thing. Maybe I can do something with the frame. <laughs> if you don't bark welcome every time you see a, a guy, I will riot. Which, which guy? Let's rock the painting. No, that doesn't seem to help at all. Missile, we need your help. I hate this. I hate moments like this in puzzles. We, you clearly know what you're supposed to do, but, but the way to get there doesn't make, 
is like, what? Stop going over there. He can't do anything there. Hey, wait a minute. That cart just moved, didn't it? I always thought so, but that just proves it. This apartment building is leaning to one side. Whew. This lady knows how to keep me on the edge of my seat. It's a good thing that hauntings aren't real. Missile, give me a hint. That's a great nose. I still use the phone? Darn, with the receiver and the fish tank, I can't use the telephone lines. Don't tell me I'm trapped in this room? Hmm. Maybe this will help. Maybe Crazy Lady will break down the wall and it will like... Oh, it's this. No, tell me things. So the tree is getting impatient for Christmas too. Wouldn't it be cute if that was what the tree was really thinking? Maybe the plug's not in right. Like I need one more thing to make Missile bark. You do need Missile to bark. We just need missile to bark from that hint, so I can't do anything with that, right? No. Ah, crap. Get over here. Yes, get startled. <laughs> oh, sorry, missile! I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot about that. Wait, trick the Santa thing. Can I do that? Oh! Shoot, I didn't even notice. I'm sorry, I'm used to the, 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 the iOS version where you can see that at all times. If you can trick, I gotta like look over. There we go, sorry, that was, that was much easier than I was making it. For some reason I just didn't think that was a thing. All right, now I'm, oh, here we go. Like I said, just, just a few years and you really do forget a lot of uh, specifics of stuff like this. Look in the tree. There you go. You got your thing. Look in the tree. Look in the... There you go. Don't be nearsighted Jigo now. This is it, the music box. <laughs> Mission success. I'll leave the remote here. But don't you touch it, missile. The TV comes on, you'll start barking. I need to find you flattened underneath that wall when I come back home. My TV has a habit of turning itself on, too. I, I don't know why. Okay, I'm leaving now, Missile. I'm gonna help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know? Honestly, I'm probably actually doing worse than I did my first time, because my first time, I was just, like, randomly tricking everything, just to, like, figure out how things worked. And now I'm like, hmm. I'm trying to remember what I did, and, like, that's even harder than just figuring it out for the first time. Oh, the redhead Lynn's facing a new crisis, yeah. <laughs> I really... I hadn't thought of it, or at least I don't remember thinking about it. But uh, yeah, the game really likes its little recaps here. I, I don't need to read them for the stream, fortunately, but yeah. The game likes to remind you of everything that's happened, which... If you play games inconsistently, like I said, is actually really nice. Um... What's it called? The Tales of series has a really good, like, I forget what it's called, but like a, a system where you, um, can, you can look up where you are in the story and like what's happened recently. So if you forget what you're doing or why you're doing it, you can look up that. And that's really nice. I didn't actually use it a lot, but I really could be using that right now in Lufia. I got lost in my save in Lufia 2. I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go. Oh, and I tried that stupid, I tried to beat the stupid slime with like 99999 HP. And I got so close, I hated it. I, well, I didn't hate it. I, 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 the, the dungeon, the 100 floors dungeon, I hate that kind of stuff. It was really unfun. Hey, Bullet Distress, you're welcome to stay. This is a really good game. Um, so, we are kind of trapped in this room. 
So, we need that nice lady to help us. So let's try to get her to heal help here. There we go. There she is. I'll knock this wall down. Oh, she's got a phone. Of course she has a phone. If you keep that racket up, I'll bring this whole dilapidated building down on you. What are those like fur scarf things called anyway? Did you hear what I just heard? I mean, the lady next door is Angry Howl? No, forget that. It was the sound of a telephone ringing coming from the apartment next door. Oh, I get it. You're thinking about borrowing your telephone, aren't you? Are you going to do that without breaking the wall down? <laughs> well, we're a ghost. We don't, we don't care about walls. We just need to find something close enough. Is that not the exact sound effect of Mario 64 dog noise, by the way? That is, that is the Mario 64, oh, what? Dog sound. What's up, doggo? Come on, can't you bark any louder than that? Louder? But then the lady will knock down the wall on top of me. We'll worry about that when it happens. Hmm, anyway, I'm barking as loud as I can already. Wasn't there something else here that gets a reaction out of him? Can I... Can I... Oh. <laughs> You're not allowed to do that anymore. Okay. We gotta agitate the Bork Bork. Or maybe, maybe just make more noise. <laughs> bork... Bork level has entered maximum. Whoa. Ooh. Now we're talking. Whoa, you unplugged the TV? She was not serious about destroying this apartment. Dead. Dead. Are you okay, Missile? I told you to knock down the wall on you. Did you kill Missile? What happened? Why is Missile on the floor? You okay? This is what it feels like to have a wall knocked down on you, huh? Unless she knocked you through the wall. I'm still alive, aren't I? Uh, I hope so. You are, but the TV and the star ornament aren't. I'll never bark again. Not as long as I live. But wait a minute. Looks like the commotion wasn't for naught. Huh? Barking made her create a path for me. Sweet. Oh, those kinds of paths. Yes, the, the paths only dead can see. I remember that from... from Ocarina of Time. All right, now I'm in here. <laughs> you got all of those drinking birds. So you're leaving, huh? I guess so. You're saving Miss Kamala and Miss Lean? I have to follow my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. But you will save them, right? If it helps me along my way, then yeah. What do you, what do you mean? You, of course you have to save them. I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. But I'm gonna find a way to help Miss Camellia too. Create our own pass, right, Missile? Oh, that's right. See you, Missile. My name is Sissel. Oh, we never introduced. Jeez, Sissel, huh? You know what, Sissel? I'm gonna create my own path, just like you said. Thanks, buddy. You do your thing, Missile. <laughs> I forgot about this. That's how dogs do. He's gonna be okay, guys. He's a dog. He can't lose any more brain cells. He doesn't have any. Tonight is that holiest of all nights. My deadline. Uh, I know that feel. Need to get some inspiration from the muses in this bottle. And some cheese. Here's to the boorish people next door. <laughs> that That is an alcoholic's wine glass right there. Achoo! That is a thick wine glass. Are you alright, my darling angel? If you're taking your medicine like a good girl. Oh, we got a sick... We got a sick kid here? Well, I mean, here I am in yet another strange room. See, how the tense air in this place, anyway. Where's that little treasure I'm looking for? There we go. Did anybody have one of these, by the way? One of those rotary phones where you gotta, like, pick out the number on it? I should get some wine drink with her 
Hello, Mr. Mouse. Can I talk to the mouse? No. But you can't see the mouse is alive from the little stuff, I guess. Release the mouse! Hello. Yeah, no, give him a good peck. Give him a good poke in the butt. Yeah! And now... <laughs> this poor mouse. Knock him all the way on the floor. Dictionary! Um, this thing is too heavy, I can't manipulate it. <laughs> Maybe that woman built up her destructive power by hefting this puppy. More like a weapon than a book. Well, now what did that do? I think she has to be looking. There are some times like this where the time is basically unlimited, but um, you gotta do a specific thing. It's only really the parts where like somebody is dead that the timer thing applies. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. I'm a married woman. And I'm a married man. We cannot resist this any longer. I'm ready to abdicate it all for you. Even if it means my ultimate ruination. Hmm, ruination. Is that even a word? That abdicate just doesn't look right somehow. It's going to nag at me until I'm sure. I get that vibe too. I get that thing where like, I, it's a word I know and I've used many times and I still want to look it up because I just don't want to sound stupid. Let's show her the mouse. Mouse. Pesky bee? Wait, what? Why can't I get in the wine glass? Video games, I guess. Ah, oh, here we go. Strange. I know it's left this dictionary on the shelf. As if some little angel were playing naughty tricks on me. Oh ho! Perhaps. My darling angel? Yes, we have made progress. Mama! Look at that swagger, though. Ah, oh, shit. Her animations are so good, though. Oh, hey, it's Curly. Excuse me. What is it, my darling angel? Ow, my head hurts, Mama. My poor dear, and no wonder with a fever of 20102. 201 would be much, much worse. Here is to a night of fever, hotter than the love of my prime minister. You just, you just like to toast to, to drink. It's almost time to go out for my lesson. Can I take the night off? Yes, I suppose that would be best, but wait a minute. But you're happy you didn't have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Not especially. If I don't want to go, I just don't go and pretend I did. I play with Kamalia next door or something. Here is the blunt honesty of my darling angel. Drink him if you got him. Hey, today is Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? Aren't we going to celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father, dear. Now Mama has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight after all. Mama, wait. I just one thing to say. Don't try to put me in the middle of you two, okay? Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels and Papa wants you to stop. It's very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. Aw, oh, family drama. Now, now, it's time for good little girls to sleep. Especially six little girls. Sick little girls. Six sick little girls. I hate you, Mama. Here's a, t here's a toast to my daughter's hatred of myself. Well, that was tense. But I need to get to that phone. What do you think, Sizzle? I wonder who their father could be. Look at that. look at that typing animation though. That is some powerful writing. And with one hand too. My darling My darling lady, to think that you were a spy all along. What are you going to do to stop me, Mr. Prime Minister? I will arrest I will arrest you and make sure you receive the proper penalty. Your sentence to be imprisoned in my cell of love and punished with my whip of passion. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister. Oh, 
My dear lady. <laughs> I forgot about this. I'd hate to live in this prime minister's country. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, not worse than what we're currently dealing with, so. Um. Oh wait, oh, I can turn the knob. Eek! What's going on? Oh, I made a typo. Oh, I, I see. Wait, can I not knob? Oh, now she's got a... There we go. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh my god. What a woman. Holy shit. She's one of my favorite characters in this game. There's a lot of really good characters, though. She's just so dramatic and ridiculous. It's fantastic. Trish. Look at that accuracy, too. Holy shit. Sorry, little girl. Can I get... What's this? What's all this? Well, we don't need that right now. We need the phone. She, she's, a, she's a powerful woman. That's how it's possible. Look at that ass, though. <laughs> Hear her clapping from from the Prime Minister's office. Hello, is that you? How many times are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is the holiest of all nights. My deadline! But please, I'm begging you, come change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. But please, put yourself in my position. You can write your novel just as well from home. Until you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if that means forever! This poor dude. Simp. Hey, Marwan. Yeah, this dude is simp. Let me talk to Amelia at least, then. You can't talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now, and I won't have you giving her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa. Now, I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please, wait a minute. Don't try to call again. I won't answer. I refuse to answer! Trace completed the F for the sip. Troubled man's office. Yeah, troubled man. I would certainly describe him as a toast. All right. I wonder if we can go back here. This line doesn't seem to be working because I can't go there right now. Interesting. Oh, 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 oh! Go check out the junkyard. Oh wait, no, that, that actually is where we're supposed to go, I think. She's, this is like maximum level Karen. Not much time has passed since I was here last, but the situation has changed. <laughs> the doctor is blue. Maybe that's his attack. Looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who, who they are. <laughs> just just ignore just ignore Ray bouncing and jiggling over there. Welcome back. You weren't gone very long. What's going on here? Police are here to start the criminal investigation, you know, into your murder. My murder case, huh? Where's Lynn? Is she alright? So you found out her name already, did you? I'm impressed. This man. We'll be seeing this man. Yeah, the dock is just blue. There's nothing wrong with that. Some people just blew themselves, you know? There's dozens of us. You don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. Custody? So you were arrested, but why? I don't know. I'm just a desk lamp. That's, that's a good quote. That's a good one. I better see what I can find out. All right. Let's actually visit. I like to visit the... Um, See if there's conversations we can get. I think there's always something with the troubled man every chapter. Um, you always want to check the troubled man and the um, the luxurious room when you can. Though I think the luxurious room usually you can't get to. Are you all right, sir? British looking ass. I ordered all of you not to come near me. 
I beg your pardon, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. But I'd like to be left alone right now. You may go. Yes, sir. <laughs> that salute is incredible. The full body salute. Oh boy, another strange rune, another strange person. I wish this telephone lines came with nameplates or something. Sheesh. There's not really a lot we can do in here right now. Let's see, we got a water pitcher, a flag, documents, and a medicine bottle. That's interesting. A spooky night! Yeah, so this maybe this will come into play later, but at the moment... I forget if he even says anything more. No, I don't think so. Yeah, no, we just gotta leave. But you can check in on him from time to time. All right, back to the junkyard. I wonder why that guy is, you know, blue. That's weird, but I'm sure it's nothing. I was never entirely sure if there's just like a race of blue people in this game or if it's just like a stylistic thing. I mean, it's stylistic either way. Pfft. You get to see a nice picture of my dead body on the top screen, but you, you don't see it right now. Um, perfect sign. Can't really do a lot from here, huh? That song is so great. All of the music in general in this game is pretty great. Do I gotta listen to these guys or something? Quite a thing. <laughs> I love I love the nondescript characters' faces. They just have so many less details. Yeah, one of our own, a murderer. The heads will roll over this. And she's a rookie too. Heard she was carrying out some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't given crazy assignments like that. Not even rookies like Lynn. Yeah, I heard she was special. She's got strong ties to in Inspector Cabanella. Oh my god. I think this is when we first meet Cabanella. He's incredible. Hmm. I'm planning up on moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. Well, we should de We detectives shouldn't go stand around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Like me? Like me? <laughs> totally not suspicious. Look at his, like, Frankenstein's monster head shape. I think we can safely assume the cause of death was the bullet he took in the chest. Bring the stretcher. I'll look into the rest back at the lab. Would you mind waiting here for a bit, Doctor? Inspector Cabanella, head of the Special Investigation Unit, is on his way. Oh, hell yeah. Special Investigation Unit, what do they want with a case like this? I don't know, but Cabanella's our top investigator. We don't want to get him all bent of the shape, but they'll be hell, hell to pay. <laughs> that thick mustache, it really is. <laughs> don't see what that has to do with me. I don't really get what Cabanella wants to come for either. Probably just a big lark for him, but it makes things tougher for us. Hey, watch what you say behind his back. You never know who might be listening. Like me? Like me? <laughs> Here it is! Oh my god, this guy is the best ever. Yeah, watch, just watch every frame of every animation from this man. <laughs> ah, the tension of a crime scene. <laughs> yeah, nothing like it, baby. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine you get murdered and this man gets to investigate you. I mean, obviously he exudes high levels of trust and skill. Evening, boys! How's it looking? Inspector Cabanella, thanks for coming. Allow me to report, sir. Fine, fine. You just hold that thought. I'm gonna make a little phone call first. Oh my god, he's so good. So this is the head of the Special Investigation Unit. He seems, uh, unique. New info has been added. I think your descriptions of, of characters and stuff like update. Yeah, new info. Hmm. 
there's some funky beats in my left ear. Um, let's see what he has to say about Cabanella. Masked Muscleman. Eyebrowed Villain. You can't see the names, I'm reading them for you. The Other Hitman. The Little Lady. Valiant Pet. Perfumed Lady. Feverish Firecracker. That's an incredible nickname. Let's, let's read about her. Daughter of the woman in purple. Her name is Amelia. Uh, apparently a fever of 102. She isn't going out for a lesson tonight. Apparently her and Camelia are friends. So what about her father's birthday? See you, Curry. Who, who is this man? Odd Blue Doctor. Apparently a colleague of the detectives examining my corpse. Something odd about him. Maybe it's that he's blue? I, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Lanky and Loose Lawman. Head of the Special Investigation Unit. His name is Cabanella. Apparently he's the group's top investigator. Looked up to us by his men. He seems to dance through life. Has some kind of special tie to Lynn. What an amazing man, though. What's up? Deal me the deal. How's it going over there, baby? Going? How's it going, you ask? I like You'd like to know how it is going? I say it's going well enough. About fair to average if I had to say yes. It is going all right? Not the man I was looking to talk there, baby. Do me a favor and put that other man on the horn now, would you? That's a nice fellow. If it has anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park, yes? <laughs> Steal the phone from him. Ah, sorry about that, Inspector. I just got here. Well, glad to hear you made it. The other fellow just about threw me through a loop. Started babbling about being guardian of the park or some such. Yes, him. Sorry about that. Well, start doing your staking out thing, baby. And buzz me if anything comes up. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is a little spin. He's so good. We can go to the park. If I recall, the park is completely worthless until very late in the game. Now then, sir. If I may take my report, sir. Doc! Yoo-hoo! Oh, Doc! Talking to me? I need you to handle this case of your finest care and attention. Could you do that for me, Doc? I don't need you to tell me how to do my job. Anywho. I'd like to see the suspect now, if I may. Lynn, sir, I asked her to, to let herself be taken into custody, sir. She's being detained in the junkyard superintendent's office, right? What? She's being in the... Shouldn't you take her in the squad car or something? Super's office, eh? Super! And where's that? Just beyond where you parked your bicycle, Inspector. These funky beats, though. I'll go and interview the suspect then. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. Carry on, boys. He's so good. <laughs> that Cabanella boomed me. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. <laughs> like said, these animations are so good. The, the guy, like, deflating after the, um, the little hold up there. Well, let's go check out the park real quick. Probably can't do much there, but. I think I'll probably wrap up this chapter. I'm not exactly sure how chapters are. I'll try to keep it kind of rounded on chapters. Appears to be the entrance to a nearly deserted, dimly lit park. Voice of two young people drift on to be on the breeze. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. Uh, sorry, could you do that somewhere else? I'm a little busy right now. I don't have time to talk. The troubled man's office. That was the simp that we saw earlier, yes. I suppose you think I'm a man of dubious character, a questionable person? No, I, uh... This is like, the hair in this game is almost like Danganronpa, honestly. The, the level of stylization is kind of similar, I guess. If an objective person like you were asked, they might think you were a little suspicious yourself. 
As two suspicious characters, shouldn't we take the time to converse with each other? Oh boy, all right, but just for a minute. There, I like your attitude, I like it very much. Let's relax and talk a while then. The night is young, and so are we! Oh man. Imagine being stuck talking to this guy. <laughs> a body has been discovered. Leaflet. Yeah, we we can take a quick peek, but yeah, we, we can't do much here. See that nice city skyline though? Oh, speaking of city skyline. <laughs> this poor son of a bitch having to deal with this. Look at this. Oh god. Um kind of reminds me of that one scene in um You Be Nikki with the UFO watching people. Anyway, um, as I mentioned, City Skylines, the Mega Aquarium is getting an expansion pack pretty soon. So um, I'm actually, I'm looking forward to that. It's a bunch of freshwater fish and stuff. Uh, and some semi-aquatic creatures too, like snakes and stuff. Um, back to the junkyard. I have a strange match to chuck a match in that guy's hair. Valid. Valid. I'm sure it's very greasy. Speaking of hair, I had to order a... Um... Heck, how am I going to get out of here? Um... Managed to listen to what they're talking about. Um, I had to order a, like a face mask to get, uh, to get a haircut. They're... Um... The only haircut places around here are like mask only policy, which I I totally get and stuff during the whole All my videos from this time are gonna be so dated, but uh, we do the whole COVID-19 thing, but uh, I had to order one from Amazon and it took me like five or more minutes just to find um, a mask on Amazon that um, Would ship within like months like the the date was like out to July and I finally found one. It wasn't the best price, but it wasn't terrible either. And I should be getting that next week, and then I can actually finally get my freaking haircut. I, f I got a haircut just before the whole lockdown thing, so it's not as bad as it could be, but it's... I, when you start to feel it on the back of your neck, it's like, ah, cut this crap off. I, I like to keep my hair pretty short. And I'm going to get it extra short this time. I'm just going to tell them just crazy short. Just amaze me with how short it is. I just want, I, I want this crap gone so bad. I think we could safely assume this was the murder weapon. Wait, where did you pull that from? Oh no, that pistol. Yep, same model as the pistols you car detectives carry around. You don't think it's Lynn's, do you? This is not good. If it's hers, it's all over. So Lynn's a detective and the murder weapon might be her pistol. What could it all mean? Well, let's take a look at it. This is the weapon that took my life, a pistol. I remember it seems to be hazy on pistols, but I have seen them before, that's for sure. Heart right here is, whoa! <laughs> Fool, if you want to fire the thing, aim in your own direction. I didn't fire it, I'm the victim here. This is the act of somebody who's jealous of my abilities as a detective. Well, what are you glaring at me for? I'm hardly jealous of you. Well, I guess that proves it's a real gun. Other gunshot? What was that? Is that what I think it was? The sound of a gun? <laughs> Look at his pose though. I've got a bad feeling about this. Every time the phone rings, it's bad news. It's like that old riddle. Which came first, the ringing phone or the crime case? Uh, is that a riddle? Um, I don't think that's a riddle. What's going on? There you are. Do me a favor and have the doc come up to the super's office, would you? Uh, he seems pretty busy at the moment, sir. Which one are you? The green one or the blue one? <laughs> oh, that's harsh, baby. Huh? I'm uh, the green one, sir. Listen, Greeny. Get the good doc over here this instant. Or I'll see to it you never wear a green suit again. Yes, sir. I'll send him right up, sir. <laughs> You'll be the blue one now. Who is a green suit, though? Well, we can go to the super's office now. 
Doctor, please go to the superintendent's office immediately. <sighs> if I must. <laughs> that walk, though. Incredible walk cycle. What's going on? Don't ask me, but something sounds really, really wrong. That sounds like it was coming from somewhere around the maintenance building. Alright, into the super's office. I'm sure everything is fine. Look, there was a gunshot. There was an alarmed phone call. We're in a game about murder mysteries. I'm sure everything is fine. Another gunshot rings out in the lonely junkyard in the edge of town. Sound gives me the feeling a new death will be waiting on the other side of the line. Nah, that's silly. Apparently, I'm not the only one the Reaper's interested in tonight. As long as there's anything I can do about it, I don't plan on letting anybody else die. Oh, is this the end of a chapter? We're gonna go a little bit further. That would be too mean. That would be too cruel of a, of a, of a cliffhanger. Actually, this might be even crueler, but I'm just gonna a little bit more here. It's shorter than I planned to, but uh, oh well. Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when their fate is death. Seeing at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected, all except for one thing. Yep. No, Lynn, hang in there, baby. Looks like some pieces of the trash shot are from the pile of the garbage outside. What? Look, this man's nose. This this man's nose. And the pigeon. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I... Sorry, can't allow that, pigeon man. I investigate, and you superintend. You have your job, and I have mine. Let's leave each to its own pr profession, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, well, this is what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? I... Anyway, have it your way. I'll try to stay out of your hair. Two info has been added. Lynn just can't catch a break. She can't catch a bullet, but not a break. <laughs> the bird's got the key. Wow. Pfft. He's got some style to him. Ugh, the animations are so good in this. I've said so many times, but bullet hole in the window. Doc, what took you so long? Quit dragging your feet. Who are you to shout at me? Now let's have a look at the victim. I haven't even looked already, but I can tell you she's dead. Her second death of the night, actually. <laughs> well. Unfortunately, <laughs> Lynn is dead a second time. And, um, we're gonna leave it here for that, for a ghost trick tonight. This is really fun. Um, can't wait to play more of this. Um, next week, we are doing Chaos Wars, and I... I can like 99% guarantee we will finish Chaos Wars next week. Um, it, um, basically I cheated, so we should be able to just power through. And last time we got through like three or so chapters and there's only two chapters left, um, maybe two and a half, but um, we'll, we'll just be sure to power through Chaos Wars next time because that, that stream really got away from me. Um, this is Ghost Trick. Um, I will, I still, be, I'll be keeping, this is gonna be a longer one, but I'm gonna keep it to just one Ghost Trick stream per week because that way people can catch up on the prior VODs and you know, uh, it, it's definitely a series where you need to catch up on all the stuff, you know, see what's happening. I will give little recaps at the beginning of every episode. Um, please yell at me if I forget to do that. But um, yeah, it's important to know where you are, because it's a mystery and all that, and I don't usually do mysteries for uh, these kind of things. Um, I am, I do kind of want to play Ace Attorney, but I, I wouldn't stream it. I would just play that myself. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. See you, um, let me get, let me get, before I leave, let me get you the link to the next stream so you can get a, um, a reminder. It's on my channel page is the best way to find out streams. Um, here it is. Um, and that will be on June 6th, by the way, but link in the chat. So just go to that link or go to my channel page and you can get reminders from all my upcoming streams. There are always Saturday at 6 p.m. unless there's something like special, but 
yeah, the Saturday is the usual day, and I've been keeping pretty consistently to that this year, and I want to keep it that way. Um, we might add a second stream day if I want to, but I'm not sure I want to commit to that at the moment. Anyway, fun stream. See you all later.